Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video you will learn how to repair an UPS like this with overload error. Let's begin. First of all, let's see what happens. Let's start the main power supply. Now let's start the UPS. In the beginning it's making some tests. So you can see after the power test make the battery test and during the battery test enter to overload error. Now let's begin. Let's turn the power off. Let's take the batteries off. Overload error means overcurrent error. And usually to measure current we use shunt resistors. I found this shunt resistor. It's big power and small value. Under 1 ohm usually. Let's check again this shunt resistor. So shunt resistor is good. Now let's test this fuse. From ground to this pin. So this fuse is good. Now I will show you the schematic. You will find the full schematic in the description. So you can see we have here shunt resistor R45. Voltage from this shunt resistor goes to in input current IC. It's an op amp using as comparator. I checked and the voltages are good. And after that I checked the power supply for this operational. In the schematic it's plus 12 volts and minus 8 volts. That means the ground it's uh, not uh, zero volts, it's asymmetric. Now let's measure the supply voltage for IC13. Pin 2 and 3 are the input from shunt resistor, it's good. Pin 3, it's good. Pin 4, it's 12 volts, it's good. Pin 11, it's not good. 
this should be minus 8 volts. It's only minus 6 volts and that's the problem. Now let's go further. You can see in this schematic minus 8 volts charge pump details. You can see it's a very simple circuit and from 12 volts this gives minus 8 volts. With upper transistor we charge the capacitor C56 and with lower transistor we discharge it and charge capacitor C60 with inverting voltage. Now let's see on the oscilloscope the voltage on capacitor C60. As you can see, it doesn't look good. And the main problem is this capacitor C60. Let's make a test. I will put this capacitor in parallel with C60 and let's see what happens. Now let's start the UPS. As you can see, now it's working perfect and doesn't make the overload error. When I take out this capacitor, as you can see, enters overload error. Now I will take out capacitor C56 and C60 and I will replace with same value but greater voltage and good quality. Let's see what happens next. I took off these capacitors and now let's measure them. This one is C60. As you can see, it knows it's a capacitor, but the capacity is 25 pico. That's completely dead, C60. Now let's measure 
C56. As you can see, C60 is good, it's perfect. It's 21 microfarads. But first one, it's completely dead. Now I will replace only first one. Second one, I will put it back. I've replaced those two capacitors. Now let's measure the voltage. On C16, it's 7.5 volts, that's good. Now let's see on the oscilloscope. As you can see, now the voltage, the shape of the voltage is perfect. shape is perfect. Now let's see if it's working. Let's power this up. It seems that it's working now. Let's measure the charging voltage. Charging voltage is good. Let's turn the power off. Now that's on battery. Now let's make the final test. I put this lamp as a load. Now let's turn the UPS on. Now, it seems it's working perfectly. Now let's turn main power off. Now it's on battery.
in this way I think that you can repair any APC UPS even if it's a different model from this. The principle is the same. I hope that you find this he helpful and if you made it so far please give a big like and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.